Since 2006, the Hope Funds for Cancer Research gathers for its annual Awards of Excellence Dinner at one of the fabulous mansions in Newport, Rhode Island. This celebration is made possible by the generous support of people who are dedicated to eradicating cancer. Attendees wear white tie attire and are here to honor luminaries for their outstanding achievements in basic science, medicine, patient support, and philanthropy. The heart of the HOPE Fund's mission is to provide research funding for the best young scientists and doctors from around the world. The HOPE Fund has filled a very important niche uh, for postdoctoral fellows. These are people between their PhD and their first uh, uh, faculty appointment where they work in a senior person's laboratory. And the mission of the Hope Funds is really to try to encourage basic research that's going to lead to improvements in these very difficult cancers. Support for young investigators is crucial in the development of uh, a new generation of cancer researchers. The Hope Funds not only brings together the best postdoctoral fellows, but also the best postdoctoral mentors. Uh, some of the scientists have made the greatest discoveries in uh, science. Once in a while, uh, a young person takes you down a path where you don't think there's going to be any productive effect. You yourself were down that path, but you didn't see something they see. They do it against your advice and they discover something important. The Hope Fund specifically funds very difficult to treat cancers. In addition to that, they are willing to fund projects that are a little bit more out there, that are a little bit more risky, and they might not be funded by, by other organizations. But I'm a, a somewhat unusual scientist, a computational biologist, so I don't uh, work with cells or chemicals, I work with data and programs alone. So having support from a, an unusual source was particularly useful for me. And the Hope Fund was very important because it uh, uh, allow, allowed us to start a long-term project that would only give results within three to four years. And, uh, and that's very important because sometimes it's difficult for, for us to find uh, funding for these high-risk projects. The foundation is important for collecting scientists and for bringing them together at various events, either uh, through social events or, or science convenings. And those are critical interactions where we are surrounded by people that are very encouraging and have a certain youthful optimism to their approach. Through these events or other sort of meetings that, that, the, that uh, Leah and others have set up, uh, they, they really sort of foster a scientific community with other trainees uh, like myself, but also you know, senior mentors that I wouldn't really have met otherwise except through these venues. And I think that you know, has important, is very important for sort of a, a you know, junior investigator as you move forward with your career. Just the opportunity to shake hands with you know, Luke Cantley and Brian Williams today and Frank Slack and you know, others that are here, it's been uh, just you know, a dream. And you're surrounded by young people and that's the greatest delight for me. Uh, you, you learn from them and uh, I have many friends who are my age or older and I enjoy hanging out with them. But nothing's more delightful than seeing a young person discover something new and share it with you. Science has become this amazing team sport, so having these other collaborators that I can bounce ideas off of is, is, is crucial to me. As science gets more and more complex, as we see that cancer is, is very complicated, I think collaboration is really necessary because you can't be the expert in all aspects of, of cancer biology, and so you need to work with people that have an expertise that you don't necessarily have yourself. So you've got this combination of collaboration and competition that drives cancer researchers. I work on cancer metastasis um, and non-coding RNAs. My research is really on pancreatic cancer and uh, biliary uh, cancers. My 
project is focusing on a special kind of lung cancer. My field that I focus on using these techniques is transcription, which is a fairly basic component of all biological systems. I've been studying um, neural circuits involved in cancer, cachexia, and anorexia. So I'm trying to identify novel molecules that may be less toxic to the healthy tissues, but just that can still kill the cancer cells. I study cancer metabolism. I primarily focus on lung cancer, but I also study pancreatic cancer and a little bit of uh, leukemia as well. We all realize that government funding alone is no longer sufficient to provide adequate funds uh, to support all of biomedical science. Hope Funds absolutely is doing a valuable service. It's, it's finding people at a time, you know, young investigators, young, young postdocs at a time that it's very difficult to find funding. It's an extremely competitive environment to get money from the NIH at this time. When you're in science, part of the battle is how do you fund your work, and the other part is how do you actually conduct sort of uh, useful research and I think by this funding mechanism it sort of takes off the pressure from one side so you can really focus on the, the research side. It was really wonderful to be able to get my own funding in the lab and also to be a part of this organization. I'm still a part of this organization even after my funding ended because it's such a wonderful group of people dedicated to a very important cause. We're not going to take 15, 20 years from the time we identify a target until we get a drug that takes advantage of it, there's now some examples of, you know, five years or less from the target discovery until the drug is actually approved. We're beginning to break down the walls of complexity for many of these cancers. A, a big breakthrough in the last two years has been this understanding that we might treat this a little bit like an infection, knock down the bug and help the immune system go after the remnant. And that has been remarkably successful in a small number of cases. In the disease chronic lymphocytic leukemia, there are at least two brand new drugs that are changing the prospects for that disease without the toxicity of the old time chemotherapeutic agents. But now these new targeted agents are uh, dramatic in their effect. One of the areas that have developed enormously is in what's called immunotherapy. So this has really come to the fore and we know the first cancer that was being treated successfully with immunotherapy is melanoma, but we now know that this approach can work with multiple other cancers. So when you give it to that first patient and you see the tumors shrink before your eyes, that's when you have final definitive proof that in humans, not in the laboratory anymore, not in experimental animals, but in a patient, in someone who has lymphoma, this thing, this antibody that you're giving that patient actually works. We're now poised where every cancer patient will get their genome sequenced, we'll scan through, look for the mutations in the genes in that patient and uh, tailor a therapy just to the genetic complement of that particular patient. I think this is an extremely well-run organization. I love the people that uh, they, they know how to uh, raise money, they also know how to put on a show, they know how to find the right people to give the money to. The Hope Fund's accomplishments belie the small size of the organization. I want to applaud this organization for your steadfast support of science and for scientists and reminding all of us, both scientists and late people alike, of the importance of our work. The mission of the Hope Funds for Cancer Research is to fund young research fellows. The organization remains committed to imagining a world without cancer by supporting researchers who can make this happen. The more you find out about cancer and cancer research, you realize you, the, the big challenge that's ahead. I think Hope Funds is making a difference for the future of these young people. Uh, for the future of cancer. I feel very much honored to be a Hope Fund Fellow because this is such a prestigious fellowship. A day is going to come sooner than you might think where we will control cancer. And in fact, we're doing that already.